Hey everybody, my name is Melissa, the Unlikely Hiker. I hope everyone is doing really well today. Today I wanted to talk about my favorite backpack. I've had this pack for about three years now and I have been using it exclusively. When I first bought this backpack about three years ago, a little over three years ago, I think I owned 14 different backpacks and I was really searching for a backpack that was lightweight, that was gonna be big enough for my gear, big enough to accommodate a little bit of dog gear and dog food and stuff like that, but not get bogged down with too many details. I really wanted it to be easy to use, durable. It had to be durable. I'm not exactly easy on my gear. And most of all, I wanted it to be able to carry up to 35-ish pounds and it needed to be comfortable. So after looking into it, I decided on the ULA circuit. Now ULA was a company that really wasn't known to me much before when I started shopping for yet another pack. I thought I would look into it and after researching it a little bit, I thought, hey, maybe this could be the pack that I'm looking for. Prior to that, the pack that I was using and loving was the Osprey Exos 38 and I also had a 58. Those were great packs. I like them, they carried comfortable, they had the nice mesh on it, but the thing that bothered me the most about them is they squeaked and I preferred not to use a brain with it. I wanted something just a little bit simpler and the killer for me was the lack of hip belt pockets in the Osprey packs. I don't know if they've remedied that yet, but that really was a deal breaker for me when I was shopping for a new pack. Now I opted for the ULA circuit because it was a 68 liter pack and it came in just over two pounds. The maximum load for the ULA circuit is 35 pounds. Go, first one. I say this is 32 pounds, three ounces. Okay. Nope. Wow. 34.3. <sighs> 34.3, you got the heaviest girl. The ULA circuit does have an internal suspension loop, I think is what they call it. And it really does spread the weight out very well so that you can carry the weight very effectively. Some of the features that this pack has, the internal suspension hoop, padded back panel, contoured shoulder straps, front shock cord, front mesh pocket, dual hip belt pockets, hydration port, removable and height adjustable pass-through hip belt, 400 robic adjustable side pocket, roll top closure, side and top compression straps, trekking pole loops, sternum strap, and a 400 robic bottom panel. Now all of this creates a very robust pack. Back when I bought this pack a little over three years ago, it was customizable and you could choose the color Robic fabric. And I think they had a few other fabric choices. This pack is incredibly customizable. They also now offer an ultra fabric and an eco pack fabric. If you go onto their website, you can go ahead and custom build your pack and you can put any colors anywhere you like. You could do your school colors, flag colors. You could do your favorite color. You could do every panel a different color, the shot cord a different color. And there's also options that you can add on like bottom straps if you like to strap things to the bottom of your pack, ice axe loops, and I think there's a few other things on there. I think now they also give you an option of an ultra mesh or regular stretch mesh. Now, this is a popular backpacking pack for good reason. I have been beating the actual crap out of this pack now for over three years. It's been to Colorado. It's been through the Adirondacks. It's been through the Smokies, Red River Gorge, and soon it's gonna be out in California. So this pack has really done very well for me. And if I were to just sort of wipe the dirt off of it, it is wearing absolutely outstanding. There's very minimal signs of wear, mostly kind of on the bottom for me chucking it down all over the place. It is absolutely large enough for me to stuff all my stuff inside and still have a little bit of extra room. It's even big enough for me to throw in some of my dog's gear or dog food. And with even with a big food bag in there, I can carry several days worth of food, three, four, five days worth of food. It also does fit a bear canister either upright or on its side, depending on the size of bear canister that you have. The hip belt has huge pockets. It carries very nice, disperses the weight excellent. The stretch mesh has not been destroyed yet. I cram all kinds of stuff in there and it has been exceptionally durable. I know all the rage is ultralight packs with no hip belt and really small sizes, the ultra or eco pack or X pack. and. These are all great packs, 
I was looking for something really durable. So I was willing to carry a little bit extra weight to get that durability. And I also wanted something that was going to accommodate a range of backpacking needs and also accommodate a little bit of extra gear from time to time. So I'm definitely not saying that some of those new packs are not good. I think that they are exceptional. It just wasn't gonna be the pack for me. I was looking for that pack that I was just gonna stop looking for other packs because no one needs 14 backpacks, actually no one. So I wanted to stop that. I kept looking and kept buying packs because I wasn't finding really what I was truly happy with. This pack, when I got it, that's the last time I bought a backpack. So I think that that says a lot because I definitely have a gear problem, if you know what I mean. Somebody should have an intervention for this girl. So this pack really has served me very well over the last three years. To be honest, I love this pack. And the only thing I would replace that pack with would be the pink X-Pack material because who doesn't want a bright pink backpack? This girl wants one. But I don't need to buy it because I'm really happy with this pack. I think somewhere they said on the PCT that was the number one backpack for several years running. And I definitely can see why. It has a lot going for it in a great package. But no one really talks about them as much as I, they should really. I don't know why. It's just a mystery to me. Anyway, so that's enough me rambling about the ULA circuit. Three year review. I should have talked about it years ago and just never really got around to it, but I am now and it is still going strong. I am not replacing it and I'm gonna keep loving this pack until it disintegrates and then I'm gonna get another one because it is that good. That's what I have for you today. You guys take care. Make sure you get out, get some hikes in because summer's gonna be over before you know it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.